How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming and this is a weird tutorial because I don't even know what it is. It's just some kind of chaos madness. I don't even know. But here's what's happening. So I've got a script running that's playing every single animation, ran one picking one of the 500 some I have randomly. It's playing that, it's picking one and playing it anywhere on the screen and that just keeps happening. And I don't know if this is something you guys would want to know how to do, but it's pretty simple, really. And uh, I can show you how to do it. If this sort of crazy madness thing isn't uh, doesn't interest you, then just go ahead and switch out of the video. Otherwise, let me show you how I did this. Random stuff. Alright, so what you're going to need to do is get my plugin off my website, uh, dg underscore place animation. Uh, you're going to get the, it's at driftwoodgaming.com. Go to your animations and your uh, systems tab and change all of the animations that have set uh, anything set to screen. Change it to anything else as long as it's not set to screen because screen, you can't give a location to screen because it specifically says center of the screen. So just change just go down uh, highlight it press down until you see something that says screen when you see that it has screen just change it to something else and then click and just scroll on down until you see something that says screen if you only have 120 it should be very easy to do I have 500 it only took me a couple minutes so once you've done that you want to take a look at the number of your maximum animations so I've got 505 but you can use however many you want um, just put the place animation uh, plug in just somewhere at the bottom and then we're going to create a parallel process event on the map and uh, so set the trigger to parallel we're going to need four uh, four variables you don't actually need all four of these you only need three but if you want to put a throttle on it that you can control to add some random variance you can use the fourth one so create four variables one's going to roll a random number between one and a hundred just to pick your percentage of random chance that it happens the second one's going to go from 1 to uh, a random number between 1 to the number of animations you have. So I have that right here. You can see I'm setting it to the random 1 to 505. The next one's going to be a random number between 1 and your maximum X resolution. And then the last one's going to be a random number between 1 and the maximum Y resolution. If you don't know your resolution, get Yanfly's core engine. Look at your screen width and your height. This is your X, that's your Y. So you go 1 to that number, or 1 to that, and and then 1 to that number. Whatever you set yours as. I, uh, I'm using 1280 by 720, which is standard HD. So, um, just basically set your set your variables like that. After that, we're going to include a weight. Now, the weight's important, otherwise you can just lock up the game. You don't have to Alt-F4 out of it. Because it's going to try to play it so fast, every frame, it's not going to be able to handle it. I would suggest starting at 90 frames, with a, a weight of 90 frames, and then reducing that after you figure out how it's going to run in your system. Uh, then we're going to do a, uh, an optional conditional branch. And this conditional branch is going to take that first variable we created, the random percent chance, make it greater than or equal to 50. That's going to give you uh, half the time it's going to play uh, and then half the time it's not going to play. So if you're using 60 frames per second and you set uh, a weight of 60, it's going to play one every second without the conditional branch. And so there's a random chance that it'll play one every second and there's also the random chance that it'll skip a second so it'll play one every two then every three or every you know and it'll just go back and forth most of the, most likely it's gonna go in animation every two seconds you can change this constant play around with it however you want we're gonna insert a script and the first script we're gonna say VARA equals game variables dot value and then whatever you use for that um, for the the maximum number of animations one so I'm using 233, three, right? So 232, two, we're not using in the script. That's just for our conditional branch, right? So I'm using 233, three, 234, two, three, 235 for those uh, animation number, the X resolution, and the Y resolution. So make sure you get your capitals in the right place because JavaScript's really picky once all the capitals in the, light, the right location. So then we're going to just do um, a script command that's basically calling the plugin command. We're going to say this dot capital P on place, capital A on animation. In parentheses, we're going to put A comma X comma Y comma zero comma zero. Close your parentheses. 
and do an int line, which is a semicolon, which is a yeah semicolon. So that's it. Variable a, variable x, variable y defined by those three variables that we set to a random number, which is going to roll every frame, or unless it hits a weight, so it's going to basically roll every uh, every second. In, in my case, I'm running at 144 frames a second, so it's basically going to trigger twice a second, but because I put this throttle on it, it'll basically be around, uh, it'll play approximately once a second. Uh, and so that's basically it. That's all you really need. Put that event anywhere on the map, and then when you, when you play that map, the first time the animation and animation plays, it will load the PNG. So the first time cycling through any animation, it will have to load, but then... Uh, it won't have any lag after it loads the sprite and it shouldn't have too much lag and you can see it's a parallel process so you can still walk around and as it runs they'll all be loaded into your memory so yeah this is a uh, use at your own this is a crazy tutorial guys I don't even know what to tell you um, I'm sure you could do some cool stuff with this I'm thinking of doing some sort of weather particle system with it but yeah basically you can have this play for a number of of cycles you could put a loop on it and then increment a variable so that it plays like 10 times and then you know after 10 times it doesn't do it anymore you could have this going in the background of a cutscene if you want to have some random chaos in the background so yeah I don't even know what you do use this for really besides that but uh, there you go another crazy tutorial um, I'll put out some more tutorials probably in a little bit hope you guys have enjoyed the extra bit of content I put I've been putting into the channel and please don't crucify me if not every video is a uh, is an RPG Maker tutorial. I want to do other content too, but you know I'm going to keep doing MV tutorials, even if it's wacky stuff like this, because who knows what you can do with it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. Give this a thumbs up if you like these crazy ideas. Um, leave in the comments below what you can use this for if you have any ideas. Um, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you're into this sort of thing. We'll see you guys in the next video.